How you doing YouTube? It's Chris Mizo here. I'm about to make another video based on this workstation slash gaming PC that I have currently right now. I'd like to thank Austin so much for the request and it's a pleasure for me to show it to you. Uh, now, he currently, what he wants to do is try to use it for uh, mainly photography and videography and he also wants to know if it would be okay for gaming as well. And these benchmarks will exactly show what kind of numbers it will get for gaming. With the 3970X CPU and I got a 2080 Ti graphics card. Uh, the 2080 Ti graphics card is a MSI uh, Ventus 11 gigabyte version. We're gonna see exactly what this 2080 Ti can perform inside with the same CPU that's in there currently right now. Now I'm gonna run a couple different tests on this computer to see exactly what kind of numbers that we're getting. We want to see if it can a stay cool, get good, really good benchmarks. See what kind of frame rates that we're running. So the ambient temperature right now is about 61 degrees, which is roughly about a uh, 20 degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna get into this computer and find out exactly uh, what kind of numbers that we're gonna get with this current system built. All right, let's turn on this bad boy and see what kind of numbers that we'll pull up. All right guys, so now as you can see, I have super position benchmark. I also have heaven benchmark and Nova bench. Currently today, I will only benchmark heaven and super position. Both come from Unigen and they're both unique in their own flavor. But Nova bench, I'm gonna test another time and I'll let you know uh, the numbers for that as well. Um, but right now for today, we're gonna test super position benchmark and we're also gonna check the heaven benchmark. And uh, superposition is DirectX 12. For this, this is all for more newer software or newer games that um, will be more accurate for. Now, the reason why I also have Heaven, Heaven's a little bit of an older system. They use DirectX 11 or DirectX 9. This is more good if you're a retro gamer or if you're more into older style games. But so the very first one we'll probably test is. Uh, heaven just to show you those benchmarks to show you uh, what kind of numbers we pull up with that So I'm going to open open up uh, hardware info 64 So currently at idle we have the CPU package at about 31 degrees Celsius 30 degrees Celsius and The GPU looks like it's currently at 27 degrees Celsius um, It's getting an average of 27 at idle. So uh, Let's open up heaven and see what kind of numbers that we get up Okay, so we got the quality set to ultra. We're gonna turn the tessellation to extreme and we're gonna also turn the anti-aliasing uh, to times eight. We're gonna make it full screen because I am running it on a ACR Predator uh, G-Sync monitor. So as you can see, it's running at 100 Hertz, my monitor and the native form of it is 3440 by 1440. So it's gonna run at that size. So let's run it and see uh, what kind of numbers that we pull up for about five minutes. is getting a temperature about 53 degrees as of now. The average temperature was about 48 degrees. The max it really hit was 66. Now let's check out the CPU and see what kind of numbers that we're getting off the CPU because uh, these older benchmark programs rely more on the CPU because of older engine technology. Uh, because of that, you're gonna get more use out of the CPU and more use out of the CPU will, of course, cause increase in temperatures. Now the CPU package, it uh, only went up as high as 48 degrees, um, and right now it's still cooling down. Now it's currently at 29 degrees, but the hottest it got was 48 degrees Celsius, which is really not bad considering you have all these factors into it. And it looks like you're getting plenty of frame rates, which is really good out of the GPU and the CPU. 
uh, which uh, you will not have any problems uh, playing any games or retro games that rely on DirectX 11. Now that was a five minute test. Now uh, I'm gonna run a 10 minute test and then I'm gonna move on to the next subject which is superposition benchmark. Um, and we'll see what kind of numbers we get off of that. But I also wanna mention if you are running this test um, and you wanna make sure that your uh, workstation or your gaming PC is uh, capable of handling the kind of gaming that you do and you like to put everything on max settings I usually recommend people to test it for about how long you game for so that way you can get an idea of how your PC can handle that if your PC can handle that with no problem then you don't have to worry about anything but the, to me the temperatures look really really good and, and we'll move on to the 10 minute test onto uh, the heaven benchmark. Of course, like I said, if you like the game for hours in, like if you like to do five hours, then benchmark for five hours. If you like the game for two hours, benchmark for two hours. That way you get a, a good indication of uh, if you need to get cooler temps or if you want to uh, improve somewhere, uh, if you want to improve something in your hardware to where you can even make a game even better. But to me personally, uh, because of my time, I don't really get the game as much as I used to, but I can say it's definitely able to handle uh, anything that I would like to play personally um, on my PC. So I'm gonna run this test one more time for 10 minutes and then I'll move on to the next subject. get off of the 10 minute benchmark currently on this benchmark we're getting about let's go down to the video card first because that's where it's going to stress the most uh it was the most at 67 degrees celsius which is really excellent uh it didn't get too hot uh, and it stayed really cool and the cpu tech uh all right so the cpu package only got as hot as 48 degrees celsius which is not really hot at all, especially for a Threadripper 3970X. You can see the temperature on the CPU package on my previous video. You can see exactly how hot it got. It gets pretty freaking hot. And if you want to see that video, I'll have that card right above here. As you can see, this uh, setup currently is really good for retro gaming. Now let's move on to Superposition, which is more modern. It's a Superposition benchmark, same company that runs it. Unigen, a uh, really, really great company to really benchmark. And as you can see, I'm gonna put it on performance mode. We're gonna check it out how well it can handle on 4K. Because everybody I know wants to uh, game in 4K. Um, so that's what we're gonna set it at. Uh, so we're gonna stress, we're gonna put it on 4K optimized. Um, currently, I have the free version, and I'll have the link down below of the bench where you can exactly get this benchmark, and you can download it yourself to see exactly how well it'll do. So, as you can see, uh, 11 gigabytes on the video card, and uh, let's see if the CPU can help any. Now, of course, um, for gaming specifically, if you're looking just uh, for a specific gaming PC, I wouldn't suggest throwing a Threadripper in there. But if you like the game, you can always throw a 2080 Ti card into your PC uh, for a better optimization for gaming or for video editing. <laughs> As you can see, the number that I reached was 11023, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, the frames per second is the minimal amount that I had was about 67. Average was about 82 frames per second, and the maximum was about 101 frames per second. 
Now the minimum temperature that the GPU ran was about 36 degrees Celsius and the maximum temperature of the seat GPU is about 66. Uh, and of course the utilization of it is going to be about 98%. Now we're curious to see what kind of numbers we can get out of AK to see even if it can even push for that. But uh, from newer, from rumors that are around that uh, NVIDIA is supposed to release a newer video card by the summer of this year and hopefully uh, it'll be able to push even harder than this current uh, generation of the 2080 Ti. Now, of course, that wasn't a five minute test because this is the free version. Um, I'll say I'll save this result and I will post it onto the bottom of my YouTube description to show you exactly the results of what I got the first time. OK, so let's go back. Now, this time we're going to do another performance check and this time we're going to do 8K to see what kind of numbers that we pull out of that. So let's give this a run and see exactly uh, how well we'll do on this test. Okay, so the uh, numbers that we got was about 4,834. As you can see for 8K, it doesn't do exactly the best. It's frame rates, the minimum, it's only about 30 frames per second. So it's not really all that playable. Uh, it looks pretty, but it doesn't look all that playable average frame rates about 36 uh, frames per second and the maximum is about 42.5 frames per second gpu got the minimum of the 37 uh, degrees celsius and the maximum 66 degrees celsius see the cpu package the maximum uh, temperature of the cpu package is about 52 degrees celsius now with these uh, ryzen thread rivers especially the uh, 39, 60, 70, and the 90X. You don't have to worry about disabling any of the cores. You don't have to get the software to disable the cores. All the chips inside of that processor uh, communicate to each other very well. So you don't have to ever worry about turning off any other channels. Of course, I'll save this and I'll have this under my uh, description as well. Hopefully this video uh, helped you out to see uh, uh, exactly what kind of numbers you can expect out of a Threadripper with the 3970. What is also really nice about the software, you can actually go into here, this uh, 213, and that's actually a benchmarking page to see, get a get ex good idea of what kind of numbers you can pull off with this uh, with this hardware. Now, let's see, uh, the best hardware for 4K Optimize is actually uh, looks like an Intel Core i9 9900K, which is uh, which is great because I expected great things from Intel, especially on the uh, gaming side of things. And same thing with um, AMD Ryzen 9s. Now this is all for a gaming uh, standpoint, and these are great, great uh, processors and um, also um, good video cards. These are excellent video cards that can handle this uh, kind of kind of stress. Now, this is all strictly for gaming. I hope uh, this video is as great. If you have any questions, make sure you put it down in the comments down below. Hopefully, I answered all your questions on the uh, gaming side of things with a workstation like this. I've been uh, pretty happy with it. And... I'm sure if you make your build based on the Threadripper 3, I'm sure you'll be happy too. I hope you guys found this video very useful. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. And if you want all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. This is Chris Mizo signing out.